Okay, so as you can see, I added in these little lever things and also these uh, like bars for what will be used for prison cells. And um, these lever things are selectable similarly to the NPCs. Um, the lever will always take uh, priority over an NPC. Um, and it has like a smaller hitbox. I still have to like fix it up a little bit because like right now, I think I want to be selecting the lever. Or like right now, I should, should probably be selecting the lever. But for the most part, it works. Um, yeah, so these, so now we have these uh, bars which can open and close based on these levers. Um, the rats will always go through the bars and the NPCs won't. Uh, this is just because um, I haven't programmed. Right now the NPCs are just ignoring the bars, but in the actual game, um, only rats can move through the bars. So if you want to open them, you just go up to a lever, open it. Now you can pass through. Um, yeah, so one kind of cool thing is the the invisible wall for the bars immediately um, disappears the moment the lever is clicked. So for example, if I were to go like this and then go right here, I can kind of pass through the bars, but it's only because there's no longer a wall there. So it's it, there's like a little bit of artistic license there because obviously it doesn't make any sense, but I like it that way, um, partly for like speedrunning reasons or just for convenience reasons. I don't want to have to make the player wait for no, you know, there's no real gameplay, like doesn't make the game more fun to have to wait there. Oops. So, yep. So, oh. so yeah, now we have uh, doors and levers. There's also going to be um, key doors which are basically going to act as teleports. But uh, for now, uh, for most of the um, like unlockable doors will be these lever type doors. And you may notice the, the drawings a little bit, you know, not quite polished. Uh, I think I'll probably change that later, but I'm just going to, since this is such an easy thing to draw, I just did it quick and I can I could very easily change it later. I think once I get more of the art done, like more of the tiles and more characters and stuff, I can go back and change these levers and these these bars. Um, yeah, and then the one major difference is uh, right now, if um, since all these levers and all these like bars are on the same screen, it'll it'll just work like this, where you you press it and then it opens it, but um, I'm going to add in a feature where if the if the door you're opening is not on screen, then it's basically once you press the lever, it's going to pause the can or it's going to pause the game, pan over to where um, the door is, show it opening, and then come back. Uh, it'll be kind of like World's Hardest Game Three and World's Hardest Game Four if you've played those, except this time there's going to be actual animation showing you kind of where it is. And I may even add like a track uh, for the camera to run on so that it doesn't just take the shortest path. But yeah, r right now my camera, um, the long story short is I, the method I'm using isn't really that great. There's too much like math involved. And when I try to um, do certain things, it'll get confused and it'll move, it'll, it won't work the way I want it to. Um, so it, before I can get the, the camera panning to show the door opening, I have to fix up my camera. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be really cool. I'm going to do it in a way that it's not annoying. Maybe it'll only show the first time or maybe when it's, it's only when it changes from its initial state. So if it starts off open and then I close it, it'll show it only when I'm closing it and then if I were to like reopen it, I don't think I need to pan over and show it again. But I'll, I'll experiment with everything once I get the uh, actual code in. Uh, there's also little problems like this where if, if I close it on top of myself, it, I'm now inside a wall and then when I move I'll, you know, get messed up. But I may just design it so that you never, um, you can, like, it'll never be so close that you're able to do that because it doesn't really make sense to have a lever right beside the door anyway. Um, or I can make it so, so it crushes you and kills you. 
but I think I think it'll probably be impossible for NPCs and the player to be crushed by door doors because it doesn't really add anything to the game, and it it's actually kind of a big hassle to code that in. Like I would have to also add in like a dying animation for the NPC just for if a door hits them, which is kind of silly. But yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, the good news is I took two weeks off work. Uh, I have a full-time job as a web developer at, at a marketing company. So um, that's where most of my time goes. Uh, the last like four updates, I was just kind of working in my free time. Um, but now I took two weeks of vacation. So these next two weeks, I'm gonna be working a lot more and hopefully these next two updates will have more content. Although um, I think at least uh, two or three days are gonna be spent cleaning up my code because um, basically when I first started the game, I spent a lot of time going through and figuring things out and redoing things I did, you know, messy and kind of really making sure everything was clean and well organized and efficient. Um, whereas lately I've been kind of focusing more on getting more features in and having like content to show in the videos. So I, I have like a bunch of new code I wrote that I have to clean up, plus I have to rewrite the camera. Um, but it's, it's not that big a deal. So I'll, I'll just take a couple days to clean it up and then um, I still have like tons, tons of extra time over these next two weeks than I normally would. So pretty excited. It'll be the first time I've worked full time, uh, like actual full time on game development in many years. So gonna be pretty fun. Hoping I can get some good hours in. So far, done pretty well. I did actually um, spend some time trying to fix the camera because I didn't want to code it from scratch. But I decided that I eventually figured out there's a different way I, that might work that would be a lot simpler and better. So that I have no reason not to code it from scratch at this point because it's not really working right. I, I never showed the bug, but um, maybe I'll show it later. Uh, but it's not, it's not really that interesting. So anyway, uh, that's about it for this week, and we'll see you next week.